state lawmaker who's also running for Dallas mayor is filing a bill in response to public corruption at Dallas City Hall. Political reporter Jack Fink live at the CBS Tower in Dallas with the story. Jack? Well, Gilma, Democratic State Representative Eric Johnson of Dallas says he's going to file his bill by this Friday to crack down on public corruption. At a news conference this afternoon at the state capitol, along with Republican State Representative Angie Chen Button, Johnson said his legislation would impact affordable housing tax credits. On Friday, former Dallas Council member Carolyn Davis pleaded guilty to accepting $40,000 in bribes in exchange for promoting tax credits from a housing developer. Johnson says his bill will no longer allow any city, county, or state elected officials to be involved in scoring affordable housing developments. The affordable housing tax credit has become the mother's milk of political corruption in Dallas. It needs to be reformed swiftly and comprehensively. This is something that has infiltrated our city hall. There's a culture of corruption that exists in our city hall that must absolutely be eliminated. That was candidate for mayor Jason Vialba and mayoral candidate Mike Ablon released a statement regarding former council member Davis's guilty plea saying it's time for tough and transparent ethics reforms at city hall to crack down on elected officials who wish to use their position for personal and financial gain. Mayoral candidate Miguel Solis said in a statement, we must raise the ethical standards at City Hall and ensure it serves the people of Dallas with utmost integrity. And candidate Regina Montoya issued this statement, we need any and all reforms necessary to ensure transparency and compliance with rules and laws. We'll have more reaction from the rest of the mayoral candidates coming up at 5. Live in Dallas, Jack Fink, CBS 11 News.